of Weddy Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Haikyuu chapter 295. And oh my god, last chapter of Haikyuu, the battle of the trash heap started and I'm so hyped because this is the this is the match that both my boy Kenma and Nada have been waiting for and I know there's going to be a lot of tears this <laughs> match i know i'm getting emotionally prepared for this anyway let's get to this chapter and see what happens next um uh, alicia haiba uh age 19 haiba lev's older sister um yamamoto akane nakoma middle school second year Yam uh, yamamoto um uh takatora's younger sister oh my god Takatora's sister is so fucking cute! And Lev's- Okay, Lev's, <laughs> Lev's sister totally looks like Lev. Jesus. A reliable cheering squad, um, the Nakoma Sisterhood, White Hawk Climax of the Third Day at the Nationals, the Battle uh, at the Trash Heap. And this chapter is titled Demon Crow. <gasps> Woo! This is titled Demon Crow! It's- If this chapter- is any indication that we're gonna get some like if we get some Tanaka versus uh Yamamoto shit, I would be down with that. But uh anyway, let's let's get to this. Um damn, nice kill. I wish that we could be out there in our uniforms right now. A gathering of last summer's training ca camp members. She's in high school third year, Ogana Daki. Um uh, Fukurodani aside, even Nakoma and Karasano are still in the running. Uwagawa uh, High School, third year, uh, Gora Masaki. Impressive that they made best 16, isn't it? It's something to be proud of. Isn't that right? What are you, a samurai? <laughs> oh, you got the first point! Because of Hinata, Hinata got the first point. The first point ends up being scored by, uh... By the Karasana first year combo, Karasana leaves the opposing blockers behind. Yeah, look at <laughs> look at Kaka first of all. Look at Kaka Yama. He's just like <laughs> and Tanaka and Nada and um Ishidori are just like yeah. I just love how stoic Tanaka is. I'm not Tanaka. I love how stoic Kakayama is. It's just fucking awesome. It's just classic Kakayama. I I love dude. I fucking love it. Ah, uh, makes you go. Ah, uh, there it is. <laughs> look, look at Inada teasing. Look, look at Inada teasing Lev. <laughs> Lev, don't um, Lev, don't be too rigid in your stance. <laughs> Fuck, this is gonna be. Oh man, there's gonna be so much comedy in this match. I forgot how funny. Fuck. <laughs> Uh, fucking Kuro is. The, the, fuck, the, how funny uh, the whole Nakoma team is. They're just awesome. Eh, eh? What was that just now? It was so fast. That was something called, um, that was something that's called a minus tempo. The fastest attack, but speed's not all there is to it. If speed was all that mattered, Akane, uh, oh, Akane John is desperately trying to quell the throbbing of her heart. It's okay, Akane-chan. Love is like lightning. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. What are you talking about? Eh? That mohawk number four has been able to um, save Karasana um, Monk Boy's crazy innards right off the bat, but... <laughs> Hang on, before we talk about that, Kageyama serves aren't exactly something you could just waltz in on and save, right? Hold on a second. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything here. Um, to be able to serve like that first thing in a match is incredible too, but nah, perhaps it was a fluke. And, uh, sorry, nah, perhaps that was just a fluke. You dare say the king, the king's serve, his first serve was just a fluke? How dare you? <laughs> Big server Kageyama takes the serve again. 
And that first serve had a good heft in my hand, too. Kagayama, second serve. Here we go. Oh! That was a powerful serve, but beautifully saved uh, yet again by Kai Nobuyuki. That was a nice serve trajectory, too. Nice serve. Damn. <laughs> oh, that was Kenma! Ooh, that was a nice setup from the boy Kenma. <laughs> Sorry, I just love looking at Kenma because he's so cute. Oh my god, that- Okay, I have to comment on that face that Hinata's making in this panel. It is just so fucking hilarious. Oh my god. Now that's hot. um... Now that's high, uh, high- High Belev. It's an intense, fast-paced showdown between teams. <laughs> that face between- Oh my god, that face! That Hinata face fucking love scored the point. But fuck, that glare that Hinata just gave Lev was just hilarious. And, and Lev is just like, <laughs> Serves you right, bitch. Okay. So now, the score is tied at 1-1. One, one, and um, the serve, Haiba serving. We got um, my boy Kemma back there with Fukunaga. And then in the front, we got Yamamoto, Kai, and, and Kuro. And then um, on our side, we got Samamura, Hinata, and Tanaka. Oh, I still am hoping we're going to get some Yamamoto versus Tanaka shit. Um, we got Kagayama in the back, some uh, Tsukushima rotating with Nishinoya and Asashi. So here we go. So, Haya so again, Haiba serves, uh, Yaku's out, and Kuro's in. Uh, now that I think about it, Nakoma's no longer doing the dedicated shift, are they? So what the dedicated shift is, is an arrangement where all three blockers collectively focus to either the left or the right. Does that mean we have no more dedicated shift this time around? Dedicated shift? Um, when Shoyo's at, at the front line, let's try all having uh, the blockers go right. From uh, what we can see, it, it just looks like Shoyo is targeting the side without blockers. Other spikers come in whilst avoiding um, uh, Shoyo doing that. They, um, that, way, if all four, uh, that way, if all our blockers move to one side, I think Shoyo will move uh, towards the spot where there are no blockers. That's right. Uh, the Shoyo that has uh, made it to the Nationals is the latest version of Shoyo, and it's and he's different from how he was before. He might not come jumping out right from the beginning anymore, but he still has that uh, the usual quick attack stuff. True that. <laughs> Kemba is so goddamn cute, and he's right. Um, the Shrimpy is using the existence of the minus tempo itself as a as a decoy. Look at Kemba; he's just like. God, Kemba's so cute! <laughs> I just wanna hug Kemba. I wish Kemba plushies weren't 65 bucks! I really want one! Oh, I want one to hug and squeeze and love! But God damn it, they're 65 bucks! Was it October when we had our last practice match against them? Does that mean they've evolved? Um, they've further evolved since that time? Wh uh, what? You're kidding me! When that time comes, it won't be the demon in his club. It will it'll be demon and demon. Yeah, they were they were referring to they were refer, referring to Kagayama as the demon. It was the demon in his club. No, now it's the demon team. They are the demon crows, motherfucker. Okay, here we go. That serve as a net in left. Samora's so coming from the left with a long distance attack. The receive has gone up, but what a shoddy receive. Will the ball make it, uh, over the net? Oh, shit! And Kuro spikes into a very tight spot! Get it, Kageyama! Center Kageyama takes the first touch! Um, Kuro uh, sure aimed, uh, for that one, efficiently sealing the potential for Karasana to unleash one of the many, uh, colorful attacks. Oh, <laughs> Give us another. Um, what a sound that makes. Grr. Hi, 
Kaiba Yaku! You! Look at you getting better and better every time we meet! Thanks, Morisuke Kun! <laughs> in a practice match for the very first time, uh, they were like a completely different team. Although not even a year has passed then, se since then. That's terrifying. This is merely om omnivores doing as carnivores do. They've uh, fed off bigger, uh, bigger and better um, opponents and grown. That said, uh, you lot are still uh, rough around the edges. I love this picture of the crows! They're, this feel of the crows are so cute! Um, the crow chicks, they're adorable. That said, you lot are still rough around the edges as a team due to, to the lack of practice you've had together. The small chicks uh, from that time are no longer. Well then, how do we defeat them? The crows evolve and stand on the court! Oh god! Woo! Look at them! Oh man, this chapter was so good! Oh, I can't wait! Oh my god! I cannot wait to see this arc in anime form. This arc is going to be so... The past couple of matches that we've had, the Karasano matches, the one against Inarazaki, and this match in anime form is going to be so fucking good! Oh, I can't wait to see it! I can't... I, oh my god, it's going to be so good. But what do you guys think of this match so far? Like, is this... This match is fantastic because... We're seeing how much um, Karasano has grown as a team, and we need this. This is exactly what we needed. I was hoping we were going to be in the championship round to do this, but, you know, I got to give Furudachi props. Furudachi, I'm kind of happy you did, we, we're going this route instead, where we're in the top, we're in the best 16 versus the championship, because the championship... It's going to be interesting because I think we're going to go up against uh, the little giant, which will be really, which will be Hinata's biggest test. And I will love every minute of it. Uh, anyway, if we, that's if we get there. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. What did you guys think of this chapter? What do you guys think of this match so far? And what do you think of the growth we're seeing in the Crows? I'm really loving it. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan's Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my channel expansion, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my GoFundMe, PayPal, Patreon, or purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, um, Facebook, and friend me on PlayStation Network. All that's in the description box below as well. And until next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later.